Hi, I'm Erin from the Haymarket Gainesville Community Library and welcome to Baking with Mom. I'm here with my beautiful daughter, Ashley, who is going to be showing us a series of how-tos for making cookies or cupcakes or other delicious treats. Today we're doing our very favorite family recipe, white chocolate clusters. Would you like to tell us a little bit about what they're gonna need to get started? Of course, okay, so the first thing you will need is a very large bowl and a one spoon to mix all of your dry ingredients with. Your first dry ingredient are Rice Krispies, the cereal, of course, and you can get this at any local grocery store in your area. So you can get one of those. And we have peanut butter and peanuts. And if you are allergic, then this video may not be for you. And we have some raisins with some marshmallows, which you can sprinkle in how much you want. And for our, I guess, liquid ingredients, which we'll mix later, are white chocolates. Yum. So what should we do first? Well, we'll use the biggest bowl with our dry ingredients first. And I actually kind of just make this however, um, but it's good to just start off with four cups of Rice Krispies cereal. Um, this measuring cup has exactly four. Um, and if you don't have a measuring cup with exactly four, you can just fill it up how many times. If your cup has one, then you just fill it up four times. Thank you. This recipe came from a family member who lives in Iowa, Miss Faith, and she has handed down this recipe to us graciously, and we love making it every single year. And what do we need next? So then we'll just do a cup of the salted peanuts and a cup of the raisins. And again, you can fiddle around with the recipe as you're eyeballing it and looking like it may need a little bit more of this or that, but essentially it's just an equal mixture of all the ingredients. So then we'll need raisins. Mm -hmm. Just do another cup. It ends up being about an equal amount anyway, so you can just start off with that. This bowl will make about 30 to 40 cookies because the little clusters are pretty small. So when I'm making these cookies to hand out to neighbors and friends, um, I'll end up making probably three or four batches and it stretches a long way. There we go. Awesome. So I'll give it a stir while you maybe put the marshmallows in the measuring cup. Yeah. And we'll just get a little look at what it looks like now, where it's all deconstructed. So we'll stir this up and then show you. This is where all the fun begins. When you start to see the process, I look forward to this every year. So already, sorry, it kind of looks like granola mix or trail mix. Mm -hmm. Can just sprinkle them with your hand or with a spoon, whatever you feel comfortable with. Just sprinkle however many you feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. it's always okay to take one. <laughs> there you go. So just sprinkle in a good handful, however many times you like, and just keep mixing. And the more you mix, the more you'll realize how much space does not contain marshmallows. Mm -hmm. So once you feel comfortable adding all the marshmallows, then we will get on to the next part. Okay, so we'll keep stirring and we'll be right back with melting and adding in our crunchy peanut butter. Now what we're gonna do is use a spatula. We're going to melt or warm up the crunchy peanut butter because what it's gonna do is get poured into the mixture and that's what keeps everything starting to get moist and tie together. So it may seem like a lot, but it'll, it'll pour on and get absorbed and then we'll be on to the next step. So here is our warm peanut butter, and we're gonna pour it in there, probably half of it first, and start mixing and see how it looks. 
and when the consistency of peanut butter is pretty thick so you would expect to have this syrupy thin liquidy consistency so that's how you would know when to pull it out you want to show them what it looks like up close oh yeah and it's pretty runny i mean i, I think it's know. interesting we can just, okay. <laughs> it's I runny them, so we can just yeah good good I love the holiday season. I know, me too. It's my favorite season, actually. And then we can mix with this spoon okay. to make sure that we get yeah. all of the excess the peanut butter. Mm -hmm. Since the dry ingredients can kind of fly around, you're sort of gonna do a little bit of an under over motion, get the dry ingredients up to the top and then press that peanut butter into them. All right, so we finished with the peanut butter and getting the wet mixture together and now it's time for the chocolate. So you're gonna need, however it is that you melt chocolate, um, we don't wanna use a stove for this recipe in case you again are younger with or without some help. Um, this is an option that we like to use and it's just microwaving it. Um, we don't really need a lid per se, but I always feel better kind of sealing in the warmth while the chocolate's melting. And then a spatula so that you can scoop out the chocolate after it's melted. So can you tell us how to melt chocolate for our cookies? Of course. So we like to use the bar white chocolate. It looks, this is the kind of, ch of chocolate that we use. Mm -hmm. But if you do not have them or if they are out of stock at your grocery store, you can also use these ones. It's the same brand. You have to make sure you use white chocolate that is best for baking and heating up. So we're going to just pour, I would say just the whole bag of this or at least two or three bars of chocolate. And one thing I'll just show you is when you're looking at how much to put in at one time, they can be kind of layered on top of each other, but you wouldn't want it to be too high or you wouldn't really be able to stir it all the way through. But this is a pretty good amount. I would say this is yet another two cups. So there you go. Do you want to add some more? Do you want to start with this amount or add a little bit more onto this round? Might be enough if you put them together. Whatever you want to do. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. I'll just do that. Mm -hmm. It's fine. We can do it again after. All right. So we're using that same microwave setting for softening and melting. Mm -hmm. It can be for chocolate or cream cheese or peanut butter. So we're going to go ahead and do the melting setting again for the chocolate. And we will show you what it looks like when we pull it back out again. And also don't forget to make sure that the white chocolate is all the way melted because it's if it's not all the way melted, then it'll have what looks like still chunks of white chocolate. And we make sure it's as clean and smooth as possible because this is actually gonna go in the fridge or freezer. So we make sure it's all the way melted and heated up. And they do freeze really well. So it's still early in the season and I could be able to make this recipe and um, freeze a whole batch or two. Mm -hmm. And then they're still, yeah, they're still delicious. You can give them all the way through the new year. Or bring them out at parties. I'll just go ahead and stir and we'll see. The, um, the white chocolate will get in there and sometimes it doesn't go far. Mm -hmm. Maybe because I started off with too much. And again, this is going to make a ton. I think we're going to need more white chocolate. Really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'll keep mixing now. So you have to open up one of these. We actually use up the entire mini white bag. The blue bag that we had, we used all of it up and it wasn't enough. So we're going to 
put in half of this whole bar. So when you open it, there will be four little thin boxes and that's how much you would need. So we're going to grab the bowl again. I like to just break it up and then you just put them all in there. So Ashley added all the extra chocolate for me. Thank mm -hmm. you. And it looks great. So now we've got to start forming them into the little clusters or balls mm -hmm. and getting them to set. So what do we do first? So the first thing that we'll need is some wax paper to create a barrier between the cookies, the clusters, and the plate because we'll make sure that we can get the clusters off as easy as possible for when we um, give it to other friends and family. Mm -hmm. So what you'll need are some scoopers. I actually got one from, I think I got for a Christmas present, but I'm pretty sure this could be at any like bath, bath and, um, yeah, bed, bath, bath and beyond. beyond. Um, yes. Sorry, I was in bed, bath, bath and body works. Um, so you'll just need a scooper, but if you don't have a scooper already that just functions, you squeeze and it works. You can also use an ice cream scooper and grab a spoon. So then you can just go at it in it in the mixture. Mm -hmm. You just like pat it down and then you're ready to put it on it. But first we're going to get the wax paper. I don't have good experience with wax paper, so I'm going to get some scissors and just cut <laughs> straight through. I haven't through. had a good relationship with wax paper. No, I'm not. <laughs> And there is a difference between wax paper and parchment paper, which mm -hmm. is actually better for baking, like baking mm -hmm. cookies. So my wax paper is really big, but it's okay. We can always just fold it or cut it, mm -hmm. cut off the excess off later. So what you'll need to do is grab that little bunch or a cluster, and then you just light it right on. You make sure that it's big enough but not too big so then every single cluster is even so this is a pretty good size we could go a little bit smaller but mm -hmm. that is the size that we are mainly going for and they're we, so delicious yes <laughs> Very delicious. i can see it and i know how good that's going to taste mm -hmm. so yeah but you can see how much we have here and how much we're going to need as far as plates we use lots of plates and then mm -hmm. we get out the cookie sheets because we yep. have so much so yeah so um make sure that you have enough room in your refrigerator put all the plates of clusters in to freeze and we will talk more about the time it has to be in for the freezer um right after we put in all the clusters on yes the i want these to harden so that i can try one so as you can see i have fit at least seven on the plate depending on the size and before there was a lot of excess wax paper and like i said i cut it off and again um the clusters don't have to be a certain size. Whatever feel com whatever is comfortable for you, you can make really big ones, one whole one, or just There's many ones. Idea. Or just many <laughs> ones. You can do literally whatever you want. So yeah. this is just the size that we prefer. We like to have a little bit more on each one because we love them so much. So this is gonna go in the freezer. So how long should we put it in the freezer? I would say just put it in there and forget about it. We're going to start with ours in the refrigerator, so at least 30 minutes. And then um, if you're going to keep them long term, this is not something that has a long shelf life. So I put them back in the freezer in bags to keep long term. So mm -hmm. 30 minutes and they should be ready. And we just have a regular Ziploc bag. It's just a pretty big one, not too tiny. Make sure that all of them fit. And the more plates you do, the more it'll just fit in one bag. It's okay to have multiple bags. So um, don't do like one bag for each cluster. Make sure it's okay to have them all hardened and then just stick them in a bag. And then when you are craving something sweet and just want something, mm. then you can just grab at one of these out of the bag and you're good. So we will see you after they have hardened and we'll let you know the review on the clusters that we have made. Napkins, please. Our holiday okay. napkins. I'm gonna take this one. Mm -hmm. And they come okay. off just like you would imagine. Cheers. Cheers.
Mmm. <laughs> These are really good. Mm. They are so good. And so, so <laughs> it's so creamy with the, mm -hmm. the peanut butter and the white chocolate. They're both so creamy, so the whole thing is just creamy with a little bit yeah. of marshmallow, which just makes it even better. Mm -hmm. A little bit of sweetness from the mm -hmm. raisin. Mm -hmm. So, we have so many friends, co-workers and family, like I said, who um, get these every year and they go crazy for them. Mm -hmm. So, make them for yourself. Make them for your friends. Um, they're very tender and chewy and just perfect. So, mm -hmm. thanks for watching. And we have some more videos. They come out the first Monday of every month. Mm -hmm. and we'll have the recipe available for you too in the comments area and so enjoy um today is basically gonna be december 7th mm -hmm. so we will see you guys in january mm -hmm. so we don't have a plan yet but we're excited we might do something for 2021 because it's gonna be a brand new year so i am super excited to be doing this again with my mom so we will see you guys next time Bye. Bye. Happy baking.